So we've made our first major signing in charge of Genoa, but I'll, I'll be honest with you lads, he hasn't exactly helped performances or results. So we opened the checkbook and absolutely splashed the cash. We spent £11.5 million bringing in Thiago Almada to play in that attacking midfield role. It was an area where we desperately needed to strengthen our starting 11 player. Hadn't performed well all season. And he's the, the best thing about it is he's also Italian. So he could end up in the Italian national side. But he doesn't count as a non-EU player. As you can see by his attributes, he is a fantastic player. And I have no doubt once we manage to get him ticking, he will be great. But uh, just take a look at his first six games for the club. One goal and a 6.63 average rating. Let's see what's happened in them six games. The first one of which was a 3 all draw against Udinese at home. A hugely disappointing result. Eldor, Matti Adestro and Sisbora had got the goals for us. But Gerard Delafiu and a lasagna brace equalised for Udinese. And what should have been three points turned to one. Next up was the only win that you'll see in this run of games. It was a 1-0 win away from home against Croton. Eldor again with the only goal in this one. We then got absolutely stuffed at home against Parma, 3-0. A hugely disappointing result. Gervinho getting himself a hat-trick for Parma, and ugh, just frustrating. Next up was a 2-1 away defeat against Lazio. We came so close to getting ourselves a draw out of this one, but Joaquin Correa got a goal in the 92nd minute to give Lazio the three points. We then went away from home against Torino and got beat 3-2. Bellotti with a brace and Saldi with one for them. Destro and Zappacosta with one for us. Melagioni got himself sent off in the 86th minute in the escort after, so he, f he takes full responsibility for that drop point. But again, another defeat, third in a row. Let's make that four. This time against Inter Milan. Martinez, Lukaku, Hakimi, Almada with his only goal since joining the club. And Alexis Sanchez completes the scoring. Um, Almada... I think it's this attack and midfield role. We are having a lot of problems with our tactic and our formation, getting that boy performing. As you can see, Almada with the 6.63. And we go and take a look at his, uh, who was the player there before him, a 6.61 in 19 games. That is a problem. I can't really do much about it this season. I think I'm going to stick with this formation. I have, I have changed the tactic quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to stick with this formation. But maybe next season, I might have to abandon it. Um, get this attack midfielder player out, maybe look to install a couple of wingers. And I know it's looking pretty familiar now with just the advanced wing backs, but I'm thinking maybe for next season, this is what we look at. But at least for this season, we're going to stick with what we've got and uh, we'll continue on and plow through and hope we can start to pick up some more form. So looking forward to this episode, a massive, massive game coming up next. Spezia away from home, 19th in the league. We need to get ourselves three points out of that. Then we've got Sasha Wolo at home who's sitting sixth. I'm fully expecting a convincing defeat in that one. We'll take a look at the league table before we get into the games. We do still sit in 14th on 27 points. We're only seven points clear from the drop zone. So we're, we haven't been clawed in too much. But any ideas of getting towards the 10th or so of the table have well and truly been dashed by the past four games. And we need to stop the rot. The team's starting to turn. You know how it goes in Football Manager. Once you start to lose... The atmosphere drops, the morale drops, and everything can turn on you pretty quickly. So the quicker we get this win, hopefully it's against Spezia. Let's get into the game and see if we can turn things around. So this will be the lineup for today's game. We have dropped uh, Armini for now. Uh, he's averaging a 6.66 in his past five games. So we'll bring in Matty Abani, who uh, is joining us next year, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, I haven't really played him that much, but it's time to give him some game time. Luca Pellegrini's been absolutely dreadful in his past five games. 6.4 average rate, and we're going to bring on Sisbora for him at left wing back. Mia Hazajic hasn't really been playing recently. Milan Bidel hasn't really been playing that well either. We're going to bring on Casata for him in centre of midfield. Thiago Almada, as we've already mentioned, he's playing terribly. Uh, Matteo Destro's playing terribly as well. I'm tempted to maybe bring in Favilli. He was out on loan before we recalled him to try and sell him during the January transfer window. But he does still have a bit of potential. I think I'm going to give him the game over Destro. Now's the time we can afford to make changes, I think. The first 11's clearly not getting the job done. So let's tinker with it and see if we can get it done with someone else. So Spezzi are playing a pretty defensive formation themselves. They've got the two defensive midfielders and then just the three solo up top pretty much. Um, not not a lot happened in the first 20 minutes. Is not always a great sign, but at least we're not getting beat. Oh, bravo, bravo. Absolutely scintillating stuff. 
I don't think I've ever, have I ever had a game where I've had zero highlights throughout the whole thing? I might have. I might have had last year. But certainly not an FM21. Could this be the first one? First highlight of the game. I'm just happy to see the green. Even though it's a spezier attack, Verdier brings the ball down at the right-hand side. Plays about a Pobega. Um, Aguadelo. Uh, we're pushing them back, which is nice. We do end up picking up the ball ourselves. And then just straight away, giving it away again. Simone Verdier. Uh, it's Daniele Verdier. Who the hell's Simone Verdier? Oh my god, it's can't be five defeats in a row. I don't know what to do, boys. I'm struggling. I'm really, really struggling. We're going to skip this. Um, we're going to go attack and make some changes with the tactic. Bring on Destro for Favilli. Um, we've dropped the wing backs back. They're, they're doing nothing in attack. So we're pushing our midfield on to compensate and hopefully offer some more going forward. We're going to take off Sisbor as well. We'll bring on Luca Pellegrini, see if he can make any difference. But um, we could be falling to a fifth defeat in a row here and it could get even worse. But we do win the ball and Casata can bring it away. Oh my God, we are just terrible. Terrible right now. It needs a full reset after this match. If we get beat from this match, I'm going to have to reset the tactic, reset the formation. Re talk to every single player who's underperforming, which is pretty much all of them, and look to turn this around because we can't afford to get beat too many more times. As Destro gets in behind, he does get the equaliser. Thank the Lord. Spezia won, Genoa won. Push on for the win. Come on. It was a mistake by their defence, but we'll take what we can get right now. We're not going to be too picky about the goals we do get. And we are fortunate to get away with a point in this game. As things stand, time is ticking away. Two highlights, or was it three? I can't even remember now. But it looks like it's going to be a... Oh, please give us the draw. Verde coming forward. Zappa Costa wins a... Come on, let's just pinch this at the end. Completely undeserved. Oh my God, the passing is shocking. Absolutely shocking. The ball's played through. Verde is in behind again. Can he make it a brace for the night? He can. And that's his seventh goal of the season. And we're getting to get beat. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't. I just need to get through this season. If I can get to the summer transfer window still in a job, I'll be happy. But as things stand, boys, oh, I'm throwing water bottles. <laughs> We're going to try it next match. We've got Thiago Almada, who can play on the left or the right. And we've got Marco Piaka, who we haven't really used this season because he's a winger. And he can be used on the left-hand side. We're going to go for this. Um... See if it makes a blind bit of difference. I've completely took away our tactic and just gone with a standard G <laughs> change and press with absolutely minimal alterations. Before this match against Sassuolo, I'm going to speak to every single member of our team who is playing poorly in the last five games, which, look at that. The starting 11 from the last last match, absolutely pretty much everybody. Um, try and boost their morale. Pick our side based on that and then... Try not to get beat for the sixth game in a row against Sassuolo. So I've had a chat with the vast majority of our boys in the starting eleven here. I think the only ones who avoided chats were Zappa Costa, Mela Joni, and Marco Piaka. Can't really criticise him for his recent form. He's never bloody played. Um, but we're going to go with this. We'll see how we get on against Sassuolo. Um, it's still a very attacking team, very attacking uh, team and formation, but it is hopefully going to give us something different that we just weren't getting from the previous formation. Here's where we get beat 6-0 and I switch back. But Sassuolo are a good side. I'm not expecting a win here, especially given our recent form. In fact, I am expecting a defeat. But a good performance, that, that we can do that and still get beat. I know we can. So let's see how we get on. We are at home and the first highlight starts straight away. With a penalty for Sassuolo by any chance? Well, we'll check VAR. Oh, here we go. Away, oh, football manager. I thought you removed this. And he's checking. Please, no penalty. We've got enough problems without getting stupid penalties away two minutes into games. And the referee has decided, decided whenever he's ready, no penalty. Thank God for that. It is still a highlight, though. Free kick on the edge of the box. Matty Perrin does claim. Another highlight. Another free kick for Sassuolo. They go close. <laughs> I'm already panicking. I'm going on the counter. You know, this is the first proper test. On FM21. Manchester United wasn't a test. Uh, you know, that's just more of a series where I get to experience the new features. Um, whereas managing Genoa 
it is difficult starting at second bottom of the league with the sort of side that you've got. But uh, I'm I'm relatively happy with how it's gone up until the past five games. Uh, hopefully we can start to turn it around. Zeldor's played in behind by Piaka and we hit the post. That's just typical. Another highlight now, Sassuolo pick up a loose ball. One of our stupid passes and Defrel beats his man in midfield. He's got loads of men around him, but we can't get the challenge in. Mert is coming down the right-hand side. Computer's there. Challenge blocked and it's back in. Brushy manages to get a clear. Piaka does the rest of the job and the highlight is over. If we get to half-time at 0-0, I'll be absolutely delighted. Um, I think if we do manage to get that, we're going to drop our wing-backs back. We're going to get them to man-mark the uh, the wingers that they've got in there because they're playing a 4-2-3-1. And obviously, it's very attacking. And with an attacking wing-backs, we're being exposed a little bit too often for me. Ferrari, Caputo gets there before Crescito, Barashi, <laughs> diving header, back to Perrin. Oh, big ball over the top. Eldor is in behind. Can he finish this one? Oh, my God, Eldor. I mean, we've been dominated this game, but we should have scored twice. We genuinely should have scored twice. And there we have it. It is half time. We came back into that a little bit more in the second half of the first half. But we're still, we're dropping these boys back. Um, and we'll see how it goes. First highlight of the second half comes five minutes in. We're on the ball right now. Pellegrini's pass does find Eldor. He's clearly isolated up top by himself. We need support from Piaka and Almada. He's not quite getting it now as Consigli gets clear for Sassuolo. We bring down Caputo. Melagioni's out of position. And there is the pocket of space. Triori is in behind. Can Perrin save us? <laughs> Thankfully, he doesn't need to. 20 minutes to go. We have another highlight. Sassuolo are definitely dominating in the second half alongside the first. But um, they haven't really created too many clear-cut chances. So maybe we can do it ourselves. Eldor's pass. He's not going to get on the end of that. Crescito down the left-hand side. It's clear by Sassuolo. All, our passing is so poor. It is incredibly, incredibly poor. Every highlight I've seen, we've lost the ball at multiple times uh, at some point. Toljan coming down that right-hand side for Sassuolo. He's completely burst past his man. Uh, he's just walked into the box and thankfully his finishing's poor. We have had to take off Marco Piaka with an injury and bring on Zajic on that left-hand side, even though he can't really play there. I want to bring on Casada. I know he's quite good. We'll bring on uh, Milan Bedell off for him. And Luca Pellegrini is on a yellow card. We're going to take him off for Sisbora. Seven minutes to go. It's a free kick for Sassuolo. Jeremy Borga's on the edge. I mean, we're limiting them to long-range strikes, which isn't too bad. We've defended well compared to what we usually do. And with five minutes to go, can we find the breakthrough? Almada and Zappacosta combining down that right-hand side. Sturaro, come on, back to him. He's miles offside by the time we actually find the pass. And the stupid pass is cut out and Caputo's in behind. Mattia Perrin. Good save. He's, he, I give him a ball again before the match and he's playing fantastic this game. Three minutes to go. I've got no... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's so fucking stupid. I've got no hopes here. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Every single game. It's just us giving the ball away every single time. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to change a lot, aren't I? This is our sixth defeat in a row. We can't afford many more. Not because I think we're in too much danger of being relegated. I might get sacked. <laughs> That's the point. So we're still sitting 14th after the two defeats, but we are now down to five points away from the uh, relegation zone. Piaka's injured for two weeks, so there goes the wingers. Um, right, maybe we just go back to this. We play far more conservative than I like to play. Um, just to get us through the rest of the season, maybe pinch a few points here or there. We need a couple more wins to really guarantee ourselves not being relegated. Um, I have definitely, definitely got something in to do, but we've got 10 games left of this season. I think I'm going to play through quite... I think I might play through the rest until the final two and bring them as the next episode, unless something's happening. Maybe I get an ultimatum from the board that says I need to win six... I need to win two games out of the next five, then I'll come back. But um, unless there's something major happening, I'm going to play through the rest of this season. We'll get it done. I need to get to the summer to make changes I want to make. And even then, I've got two million quid to spend. <laughs> so it's going to, it's a massive, this is a massive job. One of the biggest I think we've had uh, on YouTube, to be quite honest with you. But we're going to get through it and we'll see how we get on. Anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider that you hit masochist. Why have you enjoyed this video? Get yourself subscribed. I'll see you later.